Breaking right now, war in Israel as the terror group Hamas launches a surprise attack. The unprecedented assault leaving hundreds of people dead and the world on edge. Plus. Let there be no mistake. The United States stands with the state of Israel. President Biden addressing the nation to pledge America's unconditional support for Israel. Good evening, I'm Jessica Moore. Today's assault marks the most significant hit in Israel in decades, and it came as the country marked a major Jewish holiday. Israel says Hamas launched thousands of rockets from Gaza starting at dawn. The Israeli military responded with attacks of its own, launching airstrikes into the Gaza Strip. According to Israeli media, at least 250 people are dead and 1,500 are wounded. CBS 2's Jen Bisram joins us now with more on the latest developments. Jen? Hi, Jess. You know, is Israel has declared it is at war after Hamas militants confirmed they fired thousands of rockets from Gaza overnight in a major land, air and sea attack. President Biden this afternoon condemning the unprovoked attack by Hamas terrorists against Israeli civilians. And let there be no mistake, the United States stands with the state of Israel. It started with an early dawn rocket attack lasting 30 minutes on a major Jewish holiday. Hamas saying thousands were fired into the Gaza Strip, landing as far as Tel Aviv. Very scary situation. Um, you know, many people uh, have died already, and we hear about people being kidnapped and taken either from the military base or even from the home and hostage situation, which is still ongoing now. Authorities say heavily armed Hamas fighters breached the Gaza barrier wall with southern Israel and stormed the streets of nearby bordering towns, setting Israeli tanks on fire, gunning down civilians and soldiers. Israelis' stunned military was left scrambling. Fire then illuminated the night sky in Gaza as Israeli forces launched massive airstrikes in retaliation. Israeli's prime minister say Hamas will pay, quote, an unprecedented price. Gun battles continued well into the night, with militants holding hostages in standoffs in two towns. Authorities calling it the deadliest attack in Israel in decades. As Israeli leaders vowed to retaliate with massive force, the question now is how did the nation's intelligence agencies fail to see the attack coming? In the meantime, civilians in the south and central regions are being warned to shelter in place, and hundreds of Palestinian families have fled their homes over fears of what will come next. Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. Jen, thank you.